Religious crackdown in Lebanon hits the LGBT community. Quote unquote, ungodly and not in line with Lebanese customs. These are some of the reasons why Lebanese security forces have cracked down on various LGBT community groups in their events. LGBT friendly events, according to a statement from the Interior Minister on June 24th, quote, violate our society's customs and traditions and contradict the principles of the Abrahamic religions. In the Christian, um, Oh, I can't pronounce this. In the Christian Achiraf district, supporters named the quote unquote soldiers of God removed a billboard that supports and promotes activities and events along with the Pride Month celebration. In the Sunni uh, Tariq Jide residents also converged and condemned out activities of the LGBT community, dubbing these a quote unquote infiltration into their community. These actions, among others, have instilled fear in the members of the LGBT community. Many activities, such as meetups and performing in drag shows, have been put on hold. Supposedly, Lebanon's LGBT community is one of the most open among the Arab countries and has grown in public visibility in the past few years, even though homosexuality is against the law. Law number uh, 534 criminalizes homosexuality as a, quote, act against nature. In 2016, at least 76 individuals were arrested on charges of, quote, sexual intercourse contrary to nature. Activists say that the crackdown is a fabricated moral panic meant to distract from the spiraling economic and financial crisis that the country is experiencing. Armin, your thoughts. Um, I mean, look at the, the my, my thoughts are AGA's thoughts right here. Read that. AGA is saying, why the F are the religious so dead set against hurting us? F off already. I think it'd be, they'd be dead set on hurting us. Um, wait, can you move your mic closer to your face? Like you sounded very quiet just then. Oh, um, is this better? Yeah. Kenny is saying, this stuff makes me depressed. Do you have some good news? <laughs> we have I some think... good news, well, Atheist Republic news in the next segment, but um, unfortunately, this is how it goes sometimes. It's amazing how people think that, you know, this uh, you know, conservatives think like they're not just upholding laws in favor of a society, you know, a healthier society, that they're defending nature, that they are setting right things with nature. It's just, it's just so full of themselves. Like we're, we're not setting things right just when it comes to the realm of men. We're fixing the fabric of the goddamn universe. Like things are out of balance with the, you know, there's something wrong with the code, the back, back end code of nature itself. And we're fixing that. Like the, the religious people's, Self, sense of self-importance is just so always funny to watch. Like Putin basically thinks the same thing. Like conservatives in general are like rotten in the brain, and they think like they're <laughs> at, like they they think that they are they think that they're war with unholy things that is just destroying all things that are good. You know, like for example, the war on Ukraine is not about just. Ukraine. It's about fixing nature. It's about fixing degeneracy. Mm -hmm. You know, Western a, degeneracy. Western degeneracy. Yeah. Anyways, um, Lebanon. Um, yeah, as if they have not enough problems there right now. This well, is no, the that's problem. exactly the point that the people who were interviewed for this were making, where they yeah. were saying that this is we are being made a scapegoat of the fact that our country is like two steps away from being a failed state. What do you yeah. think about that, Armin? I mean, well, if I was religious, I would like, maybe that's why we are a failed state. Maybe God is punishing us. Oh, God is punishing. Snap. Yeah. This, all these bad things that are happening in liberals is because a woman be licking pussy. Oh. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> like, <wait a> oh, <laughs> Navabi, you have such a way with words. 
Oh my that's, god. Maybe, maybe like if we're like, wait, we have tried everything to fix Lebanon. And so far we haven't tried this. We'll give it a try. Let's like just mm. go and just crack down on the LGBT community and see, you know, why not? Everything else hasn't worked. So mm -hmm. I thought I thought that was a really important point that they brought up that this is really just a distraction from what's going on and how severe the crisis is like just trying to say like oh our society is not ready for this like that's really the least of the problems in lebanon i read today that the world economic forum that's what it's called right no no the, well, let me find it basically they said that the situation in lebanon is one of the top three most severe economic deteriorations since the 1800s up three wow can you hear me yeah 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 i am um, there is no hope for lebanon abandon hope okay it's gone oh yeah, yeah here we go the latest um world bank lebanon economic monitor in 2021 noted that econ lebanon's economic and financial crisis is quote likely to rank in the top 10 possibly the top three most severe crises of episodes globally since the mid 19th century yeah just just you let's forget lebanon it's gone it's like honestly every time i look at lebanon i just think like this is broken beyond repair like this is a country and well, that in part of it can yeah. be directly attributed to religion specifically yes, exactly. lebanon's construction of the confessional system which designates spots on the basis of religious identity in an effort to yes. try and make sure that everyone has representation it solidified families into dynasties that control the seats for different religious communities actually that's a very good corruption. point that's a very good point okay there's um one of their one of the there's three reasons why lebanon, lebanon is fucked is one of them is the bankers who kind of use the financial system as a way to enrich themselves and then run you know take all their money out when the whole thing the whole, when the bubble burst uh second is hezbollah and the third is that the way that really um separate uh, the different responsibilities when the government is assigned by religious identities rather than merit um which is makes a problem with lebanon's um political system ingrained within within its constitution so it's like rotten to the core so it's amazing because like two of these three are religious in nature two of the main problems two out of the three main problems with lebanon are because of religion and the people who are supposed to be basically the people that are claim to be fixing not just lebanon but nature itself are the reason why lebanon is so fucked right now like is do you, you are the, like don't look for problems you are the problem mm -hmm. look in the mirror <laughs> you look at yeah don't like it like yeah like maybe yeah hunting lgbtq people is maybe a way to redirect the blame to something that is completely irrelevant but anyways like i have highlighted some good interesting comments if you want yeah um ra Rakshith is saying so much religious hate for the LGBTQIA plus community. Okay, I have a question. Do we have to add this many letters? Because when we said LGBT um, plus, wasn't the plus meant to just cover everything else? Exactly. Like, that's, I, that was the purpose. Okay, I was actually plus. thinking about this today. To be honest, I don't even say the Q. I just leave it at LGBT because it rhymes. B, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. BT. Yeah. 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 yeah What's yeah. the I and the A? Uh, interest asexual asexual well okay i don't accept this there's asexuals there's two kinds of it there's romantic asexuals and non-romantic asexuals okay so by saying asexuals you're not recognizing the diversity within the asexual community okay so we have to be lgbtqi ra for romantic asexuals and nra for non-romantic asexuals. So LGBTQI-N-A-N-R-A plus. That would be better. It's too Anyways. much. No. People refer to you it as the alphabet like community for this exact reason. <laughs> um, How about that? Just call them the alphabet people. Isn't that cute? That's kind of cute. <laughs> 
Like alpha alpha community. <laughs> alphabet. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, people have reactions to this, but like, I can't even get into it because I'll start ranting. Um, Sweet. Somebody say, I don't want NRA in the acronym. Okay. Shit. <laughs> no, NRA from now on stands for non romantic asexuals. That's what NRA stands for. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay. Uh, oh, in response to, uh, you know, just, just <laughs> Armin's, of course, his suggestions, kind of lingus as per usual. Um, Doorknob Head is just saying, Armin knows how to use his tongue. I do in many different ways. And you wanted to highlight this to make sure that everyone, <laughs> that you can tell everyone. <laughs> um, AGA is saying, blah, blah. Allah said death to gays, blah, blah. Elohim says death to gays. Jesus said nothing about gays. And Obi-Wan says to use the force. <laughs> Oh, wait, I shouldn't have highlighted that because YouTube is going to think we're saying that. Okay. So, okay, guys, YouTube, we love, we love, we love our gays here. Okay. We love them so much. In fact, okay, no, I shouldn't say that. I, that would get us in trouble. Anyways, we just love, we just, we just love our gays. Okay. Okay. YouTube, this is other, we're just making fun of people who have these views. This is not our mm -hmm. views. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, next. Um, Kenny is saying it could always be a way to shift the blame so that they don't have to fix the actual problems. Yes. That's usually how moral panics work. Um, and something I don't remember is saying these men are always trying to fix nature. Bloody mofo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. Um, I think we already read that one. Oh, Absolutely. we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Never mind. Cool. <clears throat> okay, cool um yes by the way nobody can say that i'm being um, um a homophobe by saying the lgbtq uh, plus whatever is too long because susie is part of this community and she's agreeing with me so that covers me that covers everything i said oh it's, it's your carte blanche you're like oh yes, i got susie. i got susie <laughs> i guess susie right here next to me and she's nodding so while i say this gets in trouble. oh uh, sure no, you have the you don't you have like uh, the pass to say these things? I got and I don't like, that works. Yeah, for but the I'm, like, I'm like an uh, I'm like an unpopular LGBT. It doesn't matter, okay, people. As long as you're LGBT, yeah, I get the card. I, I tend right. to have the unpopular minority opinions within the community, but there's a lot of people who are like, this is just too many goddamn letters. Like, come on, guys, let's like, come on. Also, the flag. Can we actually have a segment on this? You ruined the flag. Oh my God! You... I will have a rant for forty-five minutes about the new pride flag. It makes me. They, 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 they took a crap on the rainbow flag. Okay, like they completely ruined it. It was inclusive enough. That's the whole point of a rainbow. A rainbow means all the spectrums. The, the symbolism was like, we have all the spectrums. That means we're being inclusive towards everybody. You didn't have to add stuff to it. Why is that goddamn triangle that, yeah, okay, like this. You ruined it. I thought gay people were good with designing stuff. I thought that was one of their talents. I have a better sense of design than, than whoever came up with that goddamn. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> We should have an entire segment on this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I, right. I will have a segment. It was my unpopular opinions. Susanna's unpopular opinion segment where I talk about why I hate the new pride flag. <laughs> also, the new pride flag has black and brown people in it, which makes it American centric. Good job, guys. You want it to be more inclusive? You made the flag American centric. A flag that used to be a global, you made it about America. As if black and brown are the minorities everywhere on the goddamn planet. Like how is how are other LGBT people like in I don't know in Korea are gonna look at this as like oh yeah this is now our flag it's talking about an issue specifically that the United States is dealing with you turn a global flag into an American flag good job hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.